Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And we've got a cracking one today. And I think if you've been following what's going on, you will know what is going on. But before we get into the video, please can I ask of you to head on over to my Instagram and follow me there at official Dougal. That would be lovely. I look forward to seeing you there. Now, into the crux of this video. So Mr. Christopher Ingram, what have you been up to? <laughs> okay, so if you've been following this situation for a long time, you'll know what's going on. And if you don't, then I'm here to give you the facts and the information. It's so fun. So since Chris and Sarah have been... Since they moved into their house, they've had nothing but problems. Ever since they've moved there, they've had issues with the whatever the builder's done. They, basically, they moved into the house too quickly, obviously. They wanted, they were so desperate to get in that they made the, the builder cut corners or didn't wait until he'd finished what he, you know, building the house, basically. And the certain things such as this, the staircases, the infamous staircases outside the garage leading up to the, is it one bedroom? Is it one room or is it two rooms? It's supposed to be two rooms. I think originally it was supposed to be two rooms separated with a separator. I don't know. Nobody's actually seen that upstairs space yet so it's like i wonder what's up there we all know what's up there it's just full of crap right it's like the garage but above the garage so it's full of crap and when i say crap i mean sarah's blankets so they're obviously using it as in an office space but they're not allowed to do that as we know because it's kind of not part of their mortgage right they're not allowed to use their premises as a, a business so uh, there's that but anyway the main issue going back a long time now is that this the staircase leading up to the the office doesn't have planning permission for some reason and i god knows why but the builder decided not to to get planning permission or just forgot to get it so those staircases became a problem when it was found out christopher decided to apply for retrospective planning permission which is you know you're entitled to do but but as we know with the inghams Nothing is quite as straightforward as that. So we're just going to quickly run over the original planning application because, you know, for those that don't don't know, they need to catch up. Right. And those that do know, it's just fun to go over it again because it's so, so funny. So this was the original application. And don't worry, Chris, I've cut out anything that's could lead people to your house okay no need to get all anxious about it this time this was the original application and this is what he put on it description of the proposal this is a minor material am amendment to the planning permission reference number that one addition of an external staircase access to large room space above the garage which is the only access to this room area of the property <laughs> they uh, they don't mention what the use of that room above the garage is going to be because that could affect the application i guess this staircase is already in situ the original developer installed this before we completed on the purchase of the house only later to discover that the developer had not included this staircase on the original planning permission. So as new homeowners, we are seeking to amend this planning permission to include the staircase as without it, there would be no possible access to the large room space above the garage, which is what we all wanted, wasn't it? That's what we wanted. We wanted to laugh and joke at them for not having access. You know, imagine them having to take the staircase down that would have been funny but no chris you had to go and spoil it all by saying something stupid 
<laughs> right, anyway. Um, then we had all the the pitch. This was part of the planning application, and this created great joviality and great fun and laughter and everything because it showed how much of a mess that they'd left it in but it also showed how high up the staircase was for them looking over the neighbor's back garden now as part of the the whole process people were were allowed to object to it and they did even a couple of the councillors objected to it, but more importantly, the neighbour next door objected to it, and this was part of what he said. The height and close proximity of the staircase and doorway mean that our privacy has been severely compromised. The landing at the top of the staircase acts as a, a viewing gallery and offers a clear vantage point over my garden and back of the house. This will be further exacerbated when we start work on our own extension, which will have bifold doors and glass A-frame, which will be an open planned kitchen and living area with patio. On one occasion, the applicant was witnessed standing on the landing, making a video of the surrounding area and my garden. This was later posted on their social media platform. There has been children running up and down the staircase using it as a climbing frame, standing encouraging our dog to bark. This has all been very upsetting for us as a family as we move to where they live to be able to enjoy the large garden and now our children don't want to go out and play and we don't like spending time out there. We have evidence of it being used during the day and we fear the space above the garage might become separate accommodation in the future, in which case there would be people coming and going at all times of the day. Now, the neighbour does not need to worry because nobody is going to rent out anything and they don't have many friends, you know. But it's interesting to see a an insight, like a, a third-party insight into how they live their lives and what they do when the cameras are not on because we don't get to see this but yeah i can imagine (laughs) i can imagine so that is the neighbor and the decision took forever for a decision to come through it was like over a year or something and this was the final decision and it said planning permission for minor minor material amendment to to retain the staircase has been considered and that permission for this development in accordance with the plans and written particulars submitted has been granted subject to the following conditions and reasons. Within three months of the date of this permission, details shall be submitted to and agreed in writing by the local planning authority of how the staircase will be screened to protect neighbouring immunity. Within six months of details being agreed, the screen shall be erected and thereafter retained. And this was dated 9th of June 2022. So I have questions. (laughs) I have questions. Well, no, I have a point to make first because a lot of people thought it was just, it had to be done within six months. You know, you had three months and then another three months. That's not how it was. It was three months from the date of this decision to send in details of what it was going to be. And then six months after it was agreed. So in essentially nine months altogether. Right. But here's my issue. Right. The finally, finally it came through. Everybody's been waiting on tenter hooks for this. And it came through. Finally pulled the finger out and and got cracking with it. But it was at the beginning of January. And now if my maths are correct, that's not three months. They had three months in order to send in details of what it was gonna be, you know. Um, but that's like what it should have been at the beginning of September and this is like three months later so it's been six months Chris um, 
I, I don't know if that affects the, the actual thing, but you know, it's kind of going against what they want, what they said, what the conditions were. So I don't know if that actually is going to affect you anyway. It might do. They might just turn around and say, fuck off. Who knows? But this is what he said, and you're going to want to hear this. I have been asked, this is Chris's application form. I have been asked to erect a privacy screening to protect my neighbor's home that is slightly overlooked. See the, see the language that he uses because he, he's, he doesn't want to do this. <laughs> Don't forget. It's slightly overlooked. The, the neighbor had previously said it was very much overlooked. But anyway, slightly overlooked by the external staircase at my property. I propose to erect a six foot height privacy screen extending from the wall of the house where the external staircase meets the wall, extending the six foot privacy screening around the entirety of the top step platform. <laughs> I can't say this. Extending the six foot privacy screening around the entirety of the top step platform of the staircase. I propose using a PVC material in dark gray to match the color of the existing staircase. Well done, Chris. Well done. Good, good, um, good thinking that. Um, so basically what he's proposing is just to cover the top of the like the landing of the staircase but i thought and i could be wrong but i was under the impression that it was going to be down the side because when you're walking up the staircase you can still see over the the staircase over the fence to the neighbor's garden so he's not proposing that he just says it's going to be at the top of the landing which i personally i wouldn't be happy about if i was the neighbor Anyway, that could go against him when all's all said and done. He goes on to say, does a little sub story here. He, he needs to explain what the issue is, which has no relevance whatsoever to the actual situation. But anyway, the problem that has arisen with this staircase was a problem that the original developer of the house was supposed to have rectified before the property was purchased by myself. Since purchasing the property, I have had to spend thousands of pounds rectifying a separate planning issue that the developer did not discharge correctly before the property was bought by myself. Now this is interesting. What what's the other planning issue that you're talking about there, Chris? Because we know of one other issue, but you have not done anything with it. And that is the wall that was taken down by your kitchen, in between the kitchen and the 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 hallway. There's supposed to be a wall with a door and that was that's on the planning, but that's not <laughs> You've removed that or the, the builders removed it because you wanted your open plan kitchen. <laughs> you idiots. It's a safety concern. And that's the only thing that the only other thing that I know of that needs planning. And that would cost thousands of pounds to get it rectified. Um, but you haven't done anything with that. So... I don't know what you're on about. Um, it goes on to say something that was only discovered post completion of sale. This would make for a cost effective, referring to the PVC solution that it's got going. I do not have, <laughs> now this is the funny, that everyone is taking the piss out of, and I'm sorry, Chris, but I, I've just got it as well, I'm sorry. I do not have available, <laughs> I do not have available funds at the moment to put forward an expensive solution whereby a contractor would secure some kind of elaborate screening to the staircase. You do not have... Where are you at the moment, Chris? Can I... Can I... Right. I just... I just want to put forth a couple of points, right? In the past couple of days, you have gone off... <laughs> gone off to edinburgh you've mentioned that you've 
spent £100 on parking alone. You have stayed in a £200 a night apartment slash flat in Edinburgh City Centre when you have a <laughs> you have a van that you can stay in. You've spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Remember when you went to Disney? You spent a hundred and thirty pounds on fuel one day, and the next day you spent the same amount on fuel again, right? And you went to Disney, and you went to Cornwall, and you spent thousands and thousands and thousands of pointless crap on your kids for Christmas. I'm not saying that it's pointless to buy kids Christmas presents. That's maybe a bit harsh. But you know what I mean? You you shoved it in everyone's faces how much you're spending. And at every given opportunity. Oh, not to mention you were going to buy this 93k RV recently. And you've all... <laughs> you, you've just... You know, you... you you put a deposit down on um, another RV, which you've lost a deposit on. You don't seem bothered about that because, you know, well, it's just money to you, isn't it? And you have been... How many holidays have you been on? You've been on... You've been travelling around the world. And yet, now you do not have available funds. You had available funds a few days ago. It's just... <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. It just goes to show that you are either lying or just, just you don't want to spend the money on this that you've clearly been forced into doing. You just you don't want to do it. So you are you know you're doing minimal basically <laughs> minimal he goes on to say but this is a very cost effective and efficient solution to protect my neighbor's privacy from the top of the external staircase at my property it will protect their privacy 100 percent from the staircase the screening will be secured and will remain in situ in situ permanently now we'll get on to the um very efficient solution in a second because i think uh you will probably agree that it's maybe not the pvc screening would be purchased through amazon <laughs> yeah, of course ev everything's purchased through amazon with you you should oh, you know not dissing amazon if you want to shop there shop there but um, does it matter where it's purchased? I don't know. Anyway, the link is here. So, Chris, you know people are going to read this. You absolutely know people are going to read it. And that's even funnier. So, this is the product. This is what they, they propose to get. It's a garden screening, 6 foot, 1.8 meter high, privacy fence screening, privacy protective screen. It's cost seventy eight ninety nine. There you go. You know, 78 is more than I thought you would spend on it. Anyway. Oh, that's what you can you can legitimately afford. And you're going to put that up. I swear to God, you are thick as fuck. Um, yeah, Chris, I, I'd be surprised if that, that carried the wind. Especially that high up. You're going to get high winds. And it's gonna, it, it's just gonna end up in, if that doesn't end up in your neighbor's back garden. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say no. And if this is, this is just a proposal, isn't it, at this stage? So I'm gonna say that they are gonna laugh at you and just say, fuck, <laughs> no, just no, this is not acceptable this is what i think anyway it's just my opinion right so if if other people think it's okay then maybe i don't know 
but yeah no it's um my book that's not gonna pass the test of this stringent council right it then goes on to say this would be attached at the top of the staircase platform and would be secured using heavy duty garden pull ties <laughs> or similar um right as the screening is six foot in height this would provide a very good screening for my neighbor's home you know what i don't think it will you know because um it's got it right how tall are you chris <laughs> um i'm i'm just gonna say i don't personally i don't think it's tall enough and personally i don't think it's adequate enough to you know to 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 not end up on on the um what what is it m60 or something yeah uh i don't know flying down the motorway as we speak isn't that chris and my personal favorite contact details phone number redacted <laughs> Why have you redacted it? You've only just figured out that you could do that. Come on. Any particular reason why <laughs> why you'd want it redacted so much? Lessons learnt, was it, Christopher? Lessons learnt. I know. I'm sorry. And yeah, that is um that's the situation as we have it at at the moment. It's uh, it's an ongoing process stick with me because i have a feeling that this is just getting juicy because i don't personally think it's going to pass muster that thing but as i said before also it's been six months since the decision not notice was given so that's not within the three months parameters that it they were given and they've been away <laughs> they've been away that's why you haven't been able to do anything it's because they've been away and also chris doesn't give a fuck those are the reasons as we have so please leave all your comments down below i know you're all gonna have a laugh at this so please just keep it calm mate just say what you want to say right thank you all so much for joining me today please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new in fact, just subscribe because I know some of you are not subscribed and we are trying to get up to 9,000 subs before the end of January. So please do that and I will see you again soon in another video. Take care and bye-bye.